Dwarkata Suresh, popularly known as Solar Suresh, holds a postgraduate degree in management from IIM Ahmedabad and an engineering degree from IIT Madras. At 80 years young, his unique urban house with seven eco-friendly projects has attracted over 20,000 visitors. He has delivered over 500 talks worldwide, both online and offline, including two TED Talks. He is a one-man army, propagating sustainability awareness and motivating people to adopt these principles on a pro bono basis, without commercialization and all across India. His focus is on individual houses and the common man. We are all talking about climate change, global warming, governments, corporations, large institutions like United Nations, they're all trying to find solutions, how to mitigate it. I feel a common man has a significant role to play towards mitigating climate change. I can talk about it. People are going through digitization, robotics, machine learning. I'm going back to tradition and going back to roots. This is for the purposes of sustainability. We should understand the word sustainability a little better. The word sustainability has got several meanings. But for us, when you are talking about SDG, sustainability means avoiding depletion of ground resources, natural ground resources. Towards this extent, I've done eight projects in my house. And whatever I've done is extremely simple. The no rocket science, any common man can do it. It is technologically feasible, economically viable, environmental friendly. Like I started with rainwater harvesting. Rainwater is a pure natural resource. People generally allow it to drain it away. I gather the rainwater, filter it and store it for reuse. I also recharge my groundwater by using the rainwater. Thereby, I don't use rainwater at all in my house. People generally use bore wells that tap the groundwater. I don't tap the groundwater and save a ground resource. This is sustainable practice. Next, I have a rooftop solar plant. I installed it over 15 years ago and people were not very comfortable talking about rooftop solar. Only last decade, people are talking about it. When they're talking about it, not many people are installing it. But whereas I've installed a 7 kilowatt system, my end their house is on solar, including air conditioners. People have a doubt whether we can connect air conditioners to rooftop solar. I demonstrated that it is possible to do it. I'm repeating, my entire house is on solar, including air conditioners. Again, in solar, there are two systems. One is known as on-grid without battery backup. The other one is known as off-grid with the battery backup. People generally install either on grid or off grid. I've installed both, one of the rare in sense, because each system has it plus and minus points. The on grid system, we don't need battery, so we save cost. Secondly, I produce electricity during the day. I consume it, excess, I feed it to the grid. I export it to the grid. This is known as net metering. But in this, there's a drawback. During the day, if there's a power outage, even if sun is shining, the panel will not produce electricity. Therefore, I have a second system, which has got a battery backup. I store electricity in the battery. Every day after sunset, my battery takes over the load. During daytime, if there's a power outage, my battery takes over the load. Everything is automatic. I don't have to switch on anything, switch off anything. If I'm sitting in my room, I do not know whether my lights are running on solar, battery, or grid. In the last 15 years, I've not experienced even one minute's power out day. It's a very significant achievement for an individual house. I've not done anything innovative. All these practices are happening in the villages. I'm only trying to redo or revive the practices and add a little bit of new technologies. My next project is domestic biogas. Here, I use kitchen waste. I don't throw the kitchen waste outside. By throwing the kitchen waste outside, you generate germs, 
mosquitoes, it's a health hazard. Whereas I put the kitchen waste into the biogas plant, I produce methane gas, which is used for cooking. By using one resource, kitchen waste, kitchen waste meaning cooked to food, uncooked to food, spoiled food, excess food, I produce two resources. One is cooking gas. Where the gas is produced, the slurry comes out automatically. The slurry is rich, concentrated, organic manure. I to dilute it. I use it in my garden. In my terrace, I have nearly 100 pots. I organically grow vegetables in my terrace. It's again a very big achievement. I have demonstrated that all these things can be done. I organically grow vegetables in my terrace. I got more than 100 pots today. My next project is hydroponics. This is an Israeli technology growing vegetables in water as a medium, not soil. Water is recirculated, so water is not consumed. The advantage of hydroponics, less water consumption, less manpower, and hydroponics can be installed in terraces. The terraces are not defined as non-productive assets. People don't use the terraces. So while hydroponics, you can install it in the terraces, start growing vegetables in the terraces. Future is going to be in hydroponics. Land availability is going down. The land fertility is also going down because of excessive use of chemical fertilizers. So hydroponics is going to catch up in a very, very big way. Next project I have is air to water generator. This is also an Israeli technology. There is dampness in the air. The dampness is compressed and drinking water is produced. Adequate number of filters are provided. Incoming air is filtered. Outgoing water is filtered. Therefore, what we get is a good portable water of international quality. Air to water generator. This runs on electricity. In my house, this runs on solar. My trains are ready. Yet to be commercialized. One is a solar car. Another one is a solar scooter. Now, people are all talking about electrical vehicles. Electrical vehicle is just a partial solution for pollution. It's not a full solution. So you still need to charge the battery. For charging the battery, you plug it into the grid. That means you're using fossil fuels. What I've done, I put solar panels on top of the car, solar panels on top of the scooter, scooter or motorcycle, two wheelers. Park the vehicle in the sunshine for three or four hours. Battery gets shot and it's shot within the vehicle. This is the full solution for pollution. Correct solution for sustainability. I don't use fossil fuels using my vehicle. My trials are ready and to be commercialized. I also do waste to wealth management. Two or three projects. Newspapers, magazines, we are recycling it into paper pulp and producing paper. This is a age old technology. But nowadays, with the advent of e commerce, lots of waste is getting generated. Plastics, bubble wrap, nylon straps, biscuit wrappers, toothpaste, toothpaste covers, medicinal foils, dry cells, dry batteries. All these are dry waste. People are simply throwing it away. We collect this waste, separate it, sell it to industries as raw material. Our tagline is zero waste to landfill. Plus, this employment generation. We employ people to collect the waste from different houses. We employ people to segregate the waste. This is the ideal concept is known as waste to wealth. Again, we know the tetra packs. We take soft drinks in the tetra packs. Tetra packs cannot be converted into paper parts because it contains a chemical layer. We collect tetra packs and give to a company. They make a sheet out of it like a plywood. From there, they manufacture furniture, tables, chairs, boards, and all those things. Ideal example of waste to wealth. I'm experimenting one more. My experiment is successful now. Yet to be commercialized. The cigarette butts. Cigarette butts, people throw it away. That is not word degradable. Cigarette butt is cellulose acetate. It's a biomass. So what I've done, I've converted cigarette butts into pellets. 
pellets are nothing but fuel. It can be used for using in the boilers. It can be used for cooking. This is cigarette but stove pellets. Excellent concept of waste to develop. One more project which I am doing, we use lots of flowers. Flowers are getting wasted. People are simply throwing it away. We collect the flowers. From there, we make incense sticks and also soaps. Again, that good concept of waste to develop. These are all the projects that any common man can do it. I am guided by three principles. A. Execution. You have got to execute the projects. I am thinking of doing it. I am planning to do it. I want to do it. That doesn't take you anywhere. If you execute the project, not only you get the results of the idea. Therefore, execution is key. While executing it, you may find some problems or issues that has to be solved. Next principle I'm guided is do not expect government to find all the solutions. Find your own solutions. John F. Kennedy, American president, 60 years ago made a famous statement. Ask not what the country can do for you. Ask what you can do for the country. That's what I'm also trying to say. Individuals have a responsibility. You have to find solutions. Don't like good, only the government to do it. Finally, curiosity and inquisitiveness is the key. Whatever projects I've done, nobody has asked me to do it. There are no manuals. The good thing is I did it myself one by one. Why? Out of curiosity. I observe and I see some problems. Chennai, a city in South India, is I got a problem of water. Two brothers are running around. So I found a solution of rainwater harvesting. The abundant rains are there, I store it and reuse it. So I have not bought a single bottle of water or a single tanker of water in the last 40 years. Completely. Rooftop solar. People are been talking about it, but I insulted it 15 years ago. Inquisitiveness, curiosity, and trying to find solutions. Whatever I have done, this is a ST, this means the STG. Completely, especially for urban cities. I'm proud to say over 20,000 people have visited me. I give over 500, 600 talks all over the world, offline and online. I'm also motivating people to carry out all these installations in various cities. I'm not in the business commercially, so I don't charge any consultancy charges. I also don't take any commission from the vendors. I'm happy to state that I've done several installations of solar, burgers, terrace kitchen garden, hydroponics, and water machine. With this, big thank you for availability for giving me an opportunity to share my experiences. Thank you.